Just drop us on the island. That is impossible. My first duty is to preserve your lives. And you couldn't live long in the climate of this planet. But I'm going to take necessary precautions to ensure your safety. What are you going to do? There is no time to waste. I will scan the island once more. If our drone forces are not present, we will go to the one place on the planet that can sustain drone life. What place? The southern polar ice cap. The climate there is almost ideal. 30 degrees below zero. And of course, I must guard against any further internal accidents. So, I will lock you gentlemen in the cabin. Think. I am thinking. Nothing's coming out. Well, we've got to get off when he reaches the island. It'll be our last chance. Now, look. We know his internal scanning isn't very good. When we reach the island, maybe we could cut his power cable. Oh, you couldn't get within five feet of it. He's got an electric charge on all the controls. I am now scanning the island. Uh, place looks fine today. Oh, sure does. I'll bet our forces are dug in underground. They are not. I scan to a depth of 100 feet. Well, uh, under the circumstances, I think we should examine it a little more carefully. It is deserted. I cannot let you endanger your lives by going ashore. Drome needs her soldiers, especially sturdy, heat-resistant types like you. We like this climate. Spoken like a patriot. I know you must be suffering, but now I am going to the South Pole to give you veterans the rest you deserve. Wait a minute. You don't understand. We're operating under special orders. We weren't supposed to disclose them to any vessel below the rank of Super Dreadnought. We're a suicide squad. Yes, yes, that's right. Especially trained for hot climate war. Our orders are to land and secure that island for the drone forces. I didn't know that. You weren't supposed to. After all, you're only a lifeboat. Land us at once. I couldn't guess, you know. All right. We'll head for the island. Arnold, it's going to work. Why not, as long as we tell him the truth? The beach is only 50 yards away. No. No. No what? I cannot do it. What do you mean? This is war. Orders. I know, but I cannot obey. A different type of vessel should have been chosen for this mission. But not a lifeboat. You must think of our country. Think of the barbaric Hagen. It is electronically impossible for me to carry out your orders. My prime directive is to protect my occupants from harm. That order is stamped on my every tape, giving priority above all others. I cannot let you go to your certain death. You'll be court-martialed for this. I'll have you broken down to a dinghy. I regret to say I must operate within my limitations. I must take you to the safety of the South Pole. Listen, you crazy tin can. Let me at those controls. I'll... No! Please, do not attempt any more destruction. I know how you feel. Wait a but... minute, Arnold, old friend. Since we cannot accomplish our mission, we cannot ever again face our comrades. Death before dishonor. Hand me the canteen. No. Don't. That's water. It is a deadly poison. Don't. Don't. <sighs> Too late. Arnold, it's your turn. We who are about to die salute you. We die for glorious drone. That goes for me, too. Speak to me. Speak to me. I still, you idiot. There is no known antidote. If only I could contact the hospital ship. Speak to me. Are you still alive? Answer me. Here. Here. Perhaps if you eat some Giesel. Dead. 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 I will now read the burial service. 
great spirit of the universe, take into your custody the souls of these your servants. Although they died by their own hand, still it was in the service of their country, fighting for home and heart. Judge them not harshly for their impious deed. Rather, blame the spirit of war that inflames and destroys the spirit of all drones. And now, by the authority vested in me, by the drone fleet, and with all reverence, I commend their bodies to the deep. Oh, shut up. Accept them, O ocean, for many brave hearts are at slumber in the deep. Hold <laughs> quiet, <laughs> What's the lifeboat doing? It's still hanging around. Just pray the drones didn't believe in cremation. Sleep quietly, brave spirits. I will now play the drone national anthem. <laughs> There she goes. Where? To the South Pole. To wait for the drone fleet. You have just heard X-1 presented by the National Broadcasting Company in cooperation with Galaxy Science Fiction Magazine.